What's up my mates of YouTube? My name is Ozzy Marcel, the most luscious locks on YouTube and in today's video we're going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of Jacques Bogart's Silver Scent. Now this is the original one, uh, none of the flankers, uh, I think I own all of the flankers but I do not own the original and I picked this one up for $31.95 Australian. Um, that's actually, you know, I bought, I bought that at my uh, local pharmacy and that's uh, the cheapest price I've ever seen it. Um, I, I've seen it at Chemist Warehouse for $35 Australian, but $31.95, too good to pass up. So, just unboxing it now. I'm imagining it's going to have that similar, you know, fabric softener vibe that I get from Jacques Bogart Silver Scent Intense. Um, I'm also imagining it's going to have that same, like, similar grape soda vibe or grape soft drink if you're an Aussie like me. Ah, uh, yep, I'm feeling like that's what it's gonna be. I get get the vibe, get it out of the box already. So, just unboxing it. Packaging is... It is what it is. All the Jacques Bogart boxes from what I've seen have a similar sort of shape and size. And here it is, Silver Scent. I like it. It's got a sort of like a minimalist quality to it. Black, silver, good stuff. And the batch information, if you care for that thing, is right there. Maybe you'll be able to see it. Oh, there you go. Bloody oath. Right, atomizer the time. Solid. Solid. It's like a cloud more than like a, a stream. That is strong. And just let some of the alcohol dry off. All right, straight away I get laundry detergent, fabric softener, uh, synthetic slash artificial grape. Um, it's not as sickly sweet as I thought it was going to be. And it's got a warmth and an aromatic quality to it as well. I, I like Silver Scent Intense. Um, I'm a big fan of that one and that's meant to have rose and oud in it. Although, if we're being honest here, um, I don't pick up a lot of oud in that one. I do get a touch of the floral and the rose, but this doesn't have any of that floral vibe to it. I don't get that at all. What I do get is fabric softener, artificial grape, and there's a, there's a woody base to it. Um, it's more on the synthetic side as far as woods go and I think immediately of wood varnish. Um, so if you've ever had wood floors in your home, um, you know the varnish that you put on the top of it to like give it a like a cleaner look to clean it, keep it uh, waterproof and whatnot. I get a touch of that but not in a bad way. It's not going to be the most versatile fragrance you wear. Um, performance like the rest of the Silver Scent line. I'm thinking it's going to be 8 hours plus on my skin. So, solid performer, especially for the price. Hmm. I would say, yeah, it's a little woodier than Intense. Um, it's definitely got more of that uh, grape vibe than Intense as well. Uh, more of the grape vibe than Deep or Midnight as well by um, Jacques Bogart, the Silver Scent Flankers. It's not an unpleasant sort of wood varnish either. It's a, um, it's synthetic and it doesn't smell natural at all. So none of this fragrance smells natural, but that doesn't mean it's a, it's a bad thing. Um, I'm a fan of this one, uh, versatility wise, mm, autumn, winter, and maybe very early spring. So late autumn, winter, uh, early spring, summer, you're going to be hard pressed to find a situation where this is going to be appropriate. But I've got a feeling and I've got experience wearing the other Silver Scent fragrances. There's going to be a certain type of people out there and maybe you're one of these people that you're going to be able to pull this off and get pretty big compliments for it because it doesn't smell similar to any other fragrance out there. The closest point of comparison I can possibly make is um, Yo Pom 
just the uh, classic late 80s editorialette. Similar in sort of how synthetic it is, but obviously this is going to be more mass appealing, if I can say that, than uh, Jopom. So yeah, um, don't regret buying this one at all, and I think this finishes off my Silver Scent collection. For $31.95, it's worth the money. I know it's going to last, and it's got a unique quality to it as well. And if you're a young guy, I mean, I would recommend this for a more mature man, like 30 plus. But if you're a young guy and you really want to stand out, I think you can afford to give Silver Scent a try. 20s to 30s, I think you can do it, but um, if you're a teenager, maybe not. Anyways, have you ever worn Silver Scent before? If you have, let me know in the comments. My name is Ozzy Marcel, the most luscious locks on YouTube. This was Silver Scent, and until the next video, catch you guys around.